what's up internet we're here today to talk about the mag float I would say probably the most important item in your cleaning repertoire well it hangs delightfully from the acrylic of my aquarium it daily comes into use removing green algae and the like from the viewing area of my aquarium. As you can see from this demonstrational video, you can hold it in your hand. It is also made of two parts that you take apart. The labeled side is the outside and the unlabeled side goes on the interior of your aquarium. Here I am demonstrating the ability to use both of my hands and which I shall put them inside my aquarium thusly to clean the glass. Once I have them both pieces inside my aquarium I shall clean the glass. In order for the human eyeballs to be able to see that the critters living inside unobstructed. Thusly using a to and fro motion Clean glass shall be achieved. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, in all seriousness, I wanted to make a video about a mag float um, and how useful it is in the aquarium and uh, this video got completely out of hand. But if there's one tool I would recommend out there for uh, any aquarist would be to get a mag float. Uh, the most useful tool for cleaning your aquarium on a daily basis you don't have to get your hands wet you don't have to get in there and on the upside generally speaking when uh, other people walk up to the aquarium they see the mag float and do half of the cleaning for you uh, it's the highest quality product out there that I know as far as cleaning from the outside of the tank goes there are many other things that I use for cleaning but this is the most commonly used thing on a daily basis and I just wanted to uh, make a video about that um, they are the most expensive ones out there I have not found anything that is more expensive I have found lots of cheap knockoff versions I would not recommend any of those uh, a few points that I've always heard from people is that it will scratch your glass uh, or your acrylic uh, generally speaking I've never found that to be the case unless you get something stuck under the internal pad which is like a snail shell or a piece of sand or a piece of substrate or something like that that's the only time I've ever seen them scratch the glass I've never worn out the pads even though you can buy new pads for them um, if you do happen to get something stuck in one of them but other than that I would say this is probably the highest recommended thing that I could put out there to someone who's just starting out and looking to clean their glass without getting their hands wet all the time. Um, it's a great way to daily clean the light algae that will accumulate off the front of your glass whether you have a planet tank or not. Highly recommend it. Anyhow, uh, click subscribe, whatever, just mash buttons on your computer, hopefully pop up a bunch of weird windows and uh, you know, Stay tuned for more vidier. Later.